let's tell you about the key features of China's Fujian aircraft carrier. Number one, this is China's first carrier with electronic plane technology. China, the widely proclaimed aircraft carrier powerhouse, has recently revealed another development in the naval field in the form of a one-of-a-kind catapult, the likes of which has never been seen before. That's a key feature of the electromagnetic technology that Fujian has. And the aircraft carrier can catapult a wider range aircraft from its deck. Something which the whole world has struggled to attain might have just been grasped by the attentive hands of Chinese scientists. And it is exciting and fascinating, to say the least. Today's episode will uncover China's development of the new, one-of-a-kind EV-based catapult that can fire a 30-ton plane in literally 2.1 seconds. Now, Fujian is conventionally powered rather than nuclear powered. China has made a significant leap in military technology with the alleged development of a powerful electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMAILS, based on electric vehicle EV technology. This innovative catapult has the capability to launch a 30-ton plane from 0 to 230 feet per second, about 0 to 70 meters per second, in a mere 2.1 seconds, potentially revolutionizing aircraft carrier operations. Imagine a catapult launching a 30-ton plane with lightning speed, propelling it into the sky within seconds, all thanks to cutting-edge technology inspired by electric vehicles. This breakthrough catapult, developed by Chinese researchers, could reshape naval warfare by offering a cost-effective alternative to traditional emails catapults. Also to mention that the development of this new email system shows China's prowess in technological innovation, with a team of scientists and engineers in Beijing leading the charge. Their creation boasts impressive capabilities, handling twice the weight of China's most advanced stealth aircraft, the J-20, according to reports from the South China Morning Post. Picture this scene, a compact and lightweight catapult system, requiring no complex power supply designed to efficiently launch aircraft from the deck of warships. The simplicity and efficiency of this system could potentially address the reliability and maintenance issues plaguing existing emails catapults, as highlighted by the challenges faced by the U.S. Navy. As we delve deeper into the workings of this groundbreaking technology, it becomes evident that its inspiration lies in the world of electric vehicles. Just as electric cars utilize torque motors for rapid acceleration and energy conversion, the catapult devised by Yeleji's team operates on a similar principle. It harnesses the power of a robust motor to drive a heavy flywheel, which rapidly rotates before launching the aircraft. For context, Ye Leji is an associate professor with the School of Mechanical and Energy Engineering at Beijing University of Technology. Now consider the implications of this technology. Not only could it enhance the capabilities of Chinese aircraft carriers, but it could also pave the way for other warships to conduct long-range airstrikes. The potential advantages offered by this innovation are vast, potentially altering the dynamics of naval warfare in the region. Now let's pause and ponder a question. How might this new emails catapult impact the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region? Let's brainstorm a bit. With the ability to efficiently launch aircraft from smaller warships, China could extend its reach and project power across the region more effectively. This newfound capability may prompt neighboring countries to reassess their defense strategies and alliances, leading to increased tensions and potential military buildups. Moreover, it could challenge the dominance of traditional naval powers in the region, reshaping the dynamics of regional security. Delving deeper into the technical aspects, you might be wondering how does it work? Well, the operation of the catapult involves intricate mechanisms that ensure smooth acceleration and deceleration of the aircraft. A winding wheel powered by the kinetic energy of the flywheel propels the aircraft along a steel cable, providing the necessary force for takeoff. What's fascinating is that this process does not involve direct contact between the flywheel and winding wheel. Instead, electromagnetic force facilitated by an eddy current clutch ensures seamless operation. Fascinating, isn't it? As we consider the implications of this innovative technology, it's important to think on its broader significance. Could this advancement signal a new era of military innovation driven by electric vehicle technology? We'll have to wait and see. Now let's shift our focus to the potential applications of this technology beyond aircraft carriers. Imagine smaller warships equipped with these compact and efficient catapult systems, capable of launching fixed-wing planes from confined spaces. This opens up a realm of possibilities for naval operations, enabling greater flexibility and agility in deploying air assets. 
Considering the geopolitical context, one cannot ignore the strategic implications of China's advancements in military technology. As the country continues to invest in cutting-edge innovations like the email's catapult, it asserts its position as a formidable player on the global stage. China's ambitious strategy to bolster its naval capabilities includes the insane goal of constructing six aircraft carriers by the year 2035. This ambitious plan signifies a significant milestone in China's efforts to challenge the dominance of the United States and also to counter Indian influence in the Asia-Pacific region to further protect its interests. The People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, has already initiated construction on its fourth aircraft carrier, showcasing a determined push to strengthen its maritime prowess. This initiative follows the successful commissioning of its first domestically built carrier, the Liaoning Type 001, in 2016, followed by the introduction of the Shandong Type 002 in 2017 and the Fujian Type 003 in 2022. The momentum towards achieving the objective of six operational carriers is unmistakable, despite the foreseeable technological hurdles on the horizon. A noteworthy aspect of China's aircraft carrier program is its evolutionary trajectory, which traces back to the acquisition of retired carriers for initial study in the 1980s. The transformation of the ex-Soviet carrier Varyag into the Liaoning laid the foundation for subsequent design iterations and technological advancements. It is remarkable to observe China's continuous strive for improvement in its carrier capabilities, exemplified by the ongoing development of a fourth aircraft carrier, simultaneous to the entry of the Fujian into service. This proactive approach shows China's commitment to advancing its naval capabilities and solidifying its position as a key player in regional security dynamics. The significance of China's endeavor to expand its aircraft carrier fleet extends beyond mere numerical superiority. It represents a strategic maneuver aimed at enhancing China's ability to project power and protect its interests in the contested waters of the Asia-Pacific region, specifically the South China Sea. The deployment of a larger carrier fleet provides China with greater flexibility in conducting a range of military operations, including power projection, maritime security patrols, and humanitarian assistance missions. Moreover, the development of indigenous aircraft carriers signifies China's growing self-reliance in defense technology, reducing its reliance on foreign acquisitions, and bolstering its national defense capabilities. However, China's pursuit of a formidable aircraft carrier fleet is not without its challenges. The construction and operation of aircraft carriers demand substantial financial investment, technological expertise, and logistical support. At this time of heightened tensions, it is extremely crucial for China to keep developing its naval capabilities to surpass its rivals in terms of defense, as well as offense and focus on protecting its interests overseas where dangers lurk. The challenges are there, the blames are there, but China must remain vigilant and focus on itself to become the best version. One thing is clear here, the PLA Navy is done playing around and is ready to steamroll its rivals if the need arises. With much about China's development of the new, one-of-a-kind EV-based catapult that can fire a 30-ton plane in literally 2.1 seconds covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.